Whatever happened to his predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bed. Welcome to our first SCV News broadcast of the new school year. I'm Izzy Patterson. And I'm Eli Morrison. With the first few weeks out of the way, both students and teachers alike are getting back into the flow of the school year. The experience may, however, be a tad different this time for the senior class of 2020. SCV News' Aiden Culpin has more on all things seniors. With the school year off and running, seniors are getting ready to take on their last year of high school together as a class. The senior class has been buzzing with excitement and angst as they look to cap off their final year. We spoke to class advisor Miss Jones to find out her thoughts of the senior class. I can't believe that you guys are seniors. I remember your first day of freshman year, and I remember begrudgingly becoming one of the freshman class advisors, and how many questions I had when I started. And now we're almost done, and you guys are almost through. So this is our last first week of school together, which is sad and exciting. Despite all the stress and deadlines, seniors are trying to make this year the best one yet. We spoke to a few students about their plans for the year. Uh, graduate, live life, have fun, live life. Um, to try to get into college and to have a year good yearbook. Um, as soon as I get into college, that's it. I'm not going to do anything else for the rest of the year. i uh, just enjoy myself, have fun with my friends while it still lasts, play sports, you know. The class of 2020 is looking to have a good year. Good luck, seniors. From STV News, I'm Aiden Colpin. Thank you, Aiden. For all class of 2020 members interested in ordering senior packages, please grab forms outside Ms. Jones' room. Forms are due by October 11th at the latest, and with any questions, please ask Ms. Jones or Ms. Nassari. The transition from the middle school to the high school is never easy on anyone. The new freshman class of 2023 is here for their first year at the high school. SCV News' Charlie Loritas has more on how the freshmen are adjusting to their new experience here at Seekonk High. The class of 2023 is the latest to walk the halls of SHS. The transition into high school can be difficult, so we asked freshmen about how they liked their first few weeks. I think it was alright. I think we got more freedom. Uh, I like it better than middle school. There's, I like the teachers more, and the, just the work's a little bit harder. I basically know where all my classes are, um, and I definitely like the lunch part of it, how um, a third lunch is only one class period after uh, third lunch. Behind every class is their class advisors. We spoke to one of the freshman class advisors, Mrs. Salisbury, about her plans for the year. As class advisor, myself and Ms. Fiends are really looking forward to Spear Week, and uh, we're really trying to get together some ideas that are really going to help us fundraise that are different than ideas that are usually used by some of the classes, like not we don't want to sell food or anything. Um, so hopefully we will make enough money um, with our fundraisers that we can put on together a really or put out a really good uh, winter ball for the following year, and then hopefully that will help offset some of the costs for the prom in the future. So really it's just fundraising and making it through Spear Week and really getting to know our class. The class of 2023 seems ready to get things underway. From STV News, I'm Charlie Loritas. The freshmen are the only ones adjusting to their new roles within the school this year. Seekonk has introduced three new principals into the district this year and some new teachers as well. STV News' Zach Reed caught up with some of these new faces to get their perspective on their new roles. Around the district, there have been many new principals. Dr. Whalen has taken a step up to the high school. It's been great. Uh, people have been really welcoming. The staff has been outstanding. I've uh, had the opportunity to meet with everyone and get to know a little bit about them. Uh, it's been great to reconnect with students, uh, some students that I haven't seen since they had time at the middle school. 
Miss Bouchard is starting up the school year as principal and shares her plans for the future. So as far as changes, I think, you know, we're evolving in different areas, one being moving towards a one-to-one -one learning environment. We're at the place this year where we now have enough Chromebooks for all of our core classes. As well as the high school and middle school, the Aiken Elementary School got a new principal as well. Mr. Heidi Minas has already been here for a year and tells us how he is adjusting to Seekonk. So far, I think Seekonk's an awesome district. Um, I grew up in Pawtucket, so I was right next door to Seekonk all the time. Um, I feel I'm really fortunate to be here. You know, I follow some really big uh, shoes when Ms. Gagliardi, who was here for quite a long time, uh, retired. So, um, you know, the first year was kind of a year for me to kind of transition my, my team uh, with Mr. Graff into the um, into Aiken School and kind of see how Mrs. Uh, Gagliardi ran things and made very, very minor changes. And uh, so far, it's been great. Other than around the district, there have been many new faces that have been appearing at the high school. Mr. Bure is the new chemistry teacher replacing Mr. Perry. And after Mr. Miro left, Mr. Azule is now the new weight training teacher. Mrs. Reed is replacing Mrs. Powers as guidance secretary. Mr. Englander is the new Mr. Devlin bringing AP Computer Science to the SHS. From STV News, I'm Zach Reed. Coming up here on STV News, how the triple E virus is spreading around the local area and what you can do to protect yourself. We'll be right back after these messages. I'm Michael Jordan. Now I need a commercial about Drew and hold up. Hi, I'm Ryan Pelletier. Think about this. Many of you out there drooling are under 18. Do you realize that at 18 you have only lived a quarter of your life? When drooling, dangerous chemicals can enter your lungs and you're only cheating yourself out of the chance to find out who you really can be. And believe me, if you don't drool, you can be anything you want to be. Listen, you got at least three quarters of your life to go. That is three more lifetimes to you. So don't blow it on blowing on clouds. Don't drool. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. I have to find Mr. Rubin's class. Where's Mr. Rubin's room? See you after phone, freshman. He passed his class three minutes ago. You're gonna be late. Sorry, sir. Don't be like this, student. Stay off your phones in the hallways. Welcome back to SCV News. With the summer season nearing its end, that also means that the threat of the Tripoli virus is almost out of the way of the Seekonk resident. SCV News' Grace McDonald has more on this potentially dangerous virus. This summer, mosquitoes in Seekonk and surrounding communities tested positive for Triple E and West Nile virus. The seriousness of these diseases has prompted concern from Seekonk residents. Um, I think that it's horrible and everyone needs to make sure that they have their bug spray on them at all times when they're outside. I think that it's like dangerous for the kids who have like after school activities. I think it's very scary and everyone needs to wear their bug spray because I don't want to die. Because these diseases can be harmful, it's important to protect yourself against mosquitoes. We sat down with Mr. Bono to find out how. Well, the main things would be physical protection, like uh, wearing long sleeve shirts, making sure that you are, uh, you know, covered from head to toe, wearing uh, bug spray, things like that. It gives you sort of like a physical barrier. Students and staff at Seekonk High School are also worried about the impact these diseases will have on athletics. I mean, we're at practice till like 7, so I'm scared I'm going to get bit by a mosquito and die or something like that. Uh, I think if someone gets triple E, um, that football will be shut down. Indefinitely. <laughs> We're out there in the wilderness, out there at Ledgemont Country Club. You know, we see deers, we see different types of wild animals. Uh, and certainly, uh, you know, with, when, you, when you're within nature on there on the golf course, uh, you know, Triple E is a major concern. While these diseases seem scary and should be taken very seriously, you don't have to shut yourself indoors. Just be cautious and protect yourself when you're outside. Reporting for STV News, I'm Grace MacDonald. Hurricane Dorian has affected several parts of both the Bahamas and the United States. 
SCV News' Josh Contois tells us more about Dorian and what effect it may have on Seekonk. With wind gusts exceeding 220 miles per hour, Hurricane Dorian hit Hawaii hard. Hawaii suffered over $7 billion in damages, and roughly 60% of homes were destroyed. With thousands still missing, and at least 45 people dead, volunteers of the Red Cross are working hard to try to save as many people as they can. Hurricane Dorian is just now hitting Mass and is already causing chaos. The boys' football game was rescheduled three different times due to expected windstorms. Hurricane Dorian was a rough one. From STV News, I'm Josh Contois. Coming up next on STV News, Unified Sports is back and ready for action. We see what the team's plans are for this upcoming season. We'll return after these messages. Are you trying to get into the building before 7 o'clock? It's just for the eye. Oh, really? Really? You know the rule. You're not allowed into the building before 7 o'clock. Welcome back. Seekonk has recently been named a banner school by the Special Olympics. Part of the reason is the recent success of SHS's Unified program. STV News' Casey Brown takes us on a look inside the program. With fall sports beginning here at Seekonk High, Mr. Gibbons is ready to start up another successful season of the Unified Sports with Unified Basketball. Coach Gibbons caught up with us to talk about his new role with the team and a preview of what's to come. Uh, this year I'll be taking over as head coach, at least for basketball, along with uh, Mr. McKnight, who will be assistant coaching, uh, and Ms. Veens, who will be assistant coaching. So season's going to start in early October, so practices will get starting in a few weeks, and I'm um, hoping that a bunch of other sports teams come out to support us. Unified has seen a massive influx of new people over the past few years. We're going to start with some of the team members to hear their opinions. Uh, Unified's a great experience. Uh, anybody can join, so... We'd really like to see you guys come support our events, and it would mean a lot to everyone. Superintendent of Seekonk Public Schools, Dr. Drolet, spoke on how important the Unified program is to him and to our school. really appreciate that Seekonk High School has taken a leadership role in, um, actually in the state and in the region, and I think it really helps to improve our climate and culture and equality and show that um, all people and all students the unified program's effect can be seen throughout the school with the Spread the Word to End the Word campaign and the Choose to Include initiative. Reporting for STV News, I'm Casey Brown. Unified Sports has also recently started up a club. The meetings will be from 2 to 3 p.m. starting up on the first Wednesday of each month. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Nelson, Lila Carvalho, or Charlotte Young for more. With the new school year comes the fall schedule of sports. The SHS football team started up their season, downing Martha's Vineyard 40-6 last Saturday. To check in with the other teams, we turn things over to STV News' Blake Anderson for more. With a fresh new school year along came the start of Seekonk Fall Sports. Last week, the season started with all of our teams either home or away. Here's what the Athletics Director, Mr. Moran, had to say about the new season. I'm hoping we do, we do well, we stay healthy, we win some games, we have fun, the kids you know, get through school, and uh, this is a positive experience for them. Field hockey had its first home opener last Wednesday playing Old Rochester. The field hockey team put up a good fight but lost 2-4 to four with two goals made by Bria Dumpy. Um, how do you think the opposing team is going to be at this game? I think they're good, they're kind of pushy though, so we'll push back I guess. Both JV and Varsity Volleyball had their opener last Wednesday, also against OR. Is there anything that you're excited for this season? I'm hoping to do better than last season. Yeah, uh, to play in the games, have a good time, get closer. Both Varsity and JV lost to OR last Wednesday. The cross country team had their time trials last Friday. We asked some of the boys what their goals are for this year. Yeah, we want to win the state title this year. Last year, cross country came second in the all-state meet last year. This year, they'd hope to get the first place finish. 
Now let's take a look at the sports off campus today. Last Thursday, the golf team hosted their first home match at Ledgemont. We asked Jack Tortolani what his expectations are for this year. Uh, I expect at least one win. Uh, last year we had one win, so just try and keep the standards low. And if we have two wins, it's going to be great. And three wins, I don't even know what I'm going to do with myself. It's going to be awesome. The golf team lost to Somerset Berkeley that day. This Thursday, the boys played Bourne High School, beating them 3-0, while the girls went away and beat them 7-0. Well, it looks like it's going to be a good season for sports. I'm Blake Anderson, SCV News. Thanks, Blake. After the Seekong football team's season opening win at Martha's Vineyard, they took out Southeast Regional Vogue Tech in the home opener at Conley Field 35-19. The Warriors took to the air and the offense had a big day. The defense was also stout as the team improves to 2-0 on the season. For the players, it's important to get off to a good start and especially to do it at home. In front of the home crowd, it's, it's like a whole different thing from being away. It's just a lot more fun. You get to shout in front of your friends, family, make everyone proud of you, you know what I mean? It's a good start. Team should be nervous. We're, we're looking good. That wraps it up here on SCV News. I'm Izzy Patterson. And I'm Eli Morrison. For the entire SCV News crew, we will see you next time.